Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video from New York City. Today is June 25th, 2021 and temperature is 75 degree Fahrenheit and I'm here at Chinatown. Today we'll explore this particular neighborhood and see how things are going on here. As you can see, beautiful fruit markets are right here with all these uh, mangoes, nuts, uh, lychee, different types of fruits. It looks pretty nice and it seems very fresh as well so right now I am at the intersection of Canal Street and Mulberry Street it seems pretty busy lively Chinatown as usual wow it's a fruit market seems like fruits are everywhere I love it I love this fresh lychee because lychee is one of my favorite fruits some guava wow very nice look at this van filled with graffiti people are doing their shopping some fruit shopping look at this view from here fresh cherry That's why I love Chinatown. You can find whatever you want to find. Some fresh coconut right here. And they all are very reasonable price. I also love dragon fruits. They are nice. But today, I will show you something very interesting in Chinatown, in Doyer Street. That's the reason I'm here to explore Chinatown. But it's very lively, very very li lively and lovely to watch how people are doing their activities here at Chinatown. so that's the mod street basically always lit up decorated very nice It feels like Chinatown is back. Most of the gift shops are open again. I remember while I was working here during pandemic, most of them are closed. But now they all are open doing business. That's a good sign for them because I was so pathetic. I feel so sad for them, especially for the gift shop owners because without tourists, it doesn't have enough opportunity to do some business. But now as New York City is coming back, they are doing business. And that's a good sign for the city's revenue as well. It's a lovely day in Chinatown. This view is amazing. I'm just wondering how it will look like during night.
Lots of good restaurants are here in Chinatown. That's why you will see some line in few specific stores like this bubble tea store right here. It seems pretty crowded. And don't be panic about this garbage. It's not like that. Today is a garbage collection day. That's why they are gathering it outside. So it would be easier for the sanitation worker to take it away. That's the reason. Other than this, this place is pretty clean. So this is basically Phil Street and Bowery and I'll head towards the Dyer Street. Chinatown has a very dark past. A century ago, many alleyways used for gambling, smuggling, and quick getaways. Doyle Street, one of them. The street you are seen today decorated with arts, this place used to covered with human blood. That's why the street known as a bloody angle. In 1905, there are two gangs who control Chinatown, the Hip Sing Tong and On Liang Tong. Often these two gangs become violent and use Doyer Street as a perfect place to murder. The street has a 90 degree angle, so no one can guess who is coming from Bowery or who is coming from Pearl Street because both of the streets are one way. That is the reason this place is become a murder alley. According to the FBI, this 20-foot long street is considered one of the most violent streets in American history. And there is used to be a tunnel so that people can pass by this place without get murdered. But now that is closed and the remaining tunnel used as underground business places but no tourists are allowed there. Other than that, Doyer Street famous for Nam Wa Tea Parlor as you can see right now. The first business to bring dim sum to the New York in 1920s and still they are running their business. This is insane. And the 90 degree angle I was talking about is right here. This way Pell Street and this way Bowery so it's very hard to see both places so well people are passing through this alley so murderers are waited here for each other and start fighting and start killing each other lives it's a pretty pretty in-depth uh, secret about Chinatown that many of you maybe know or many you don't so I thought that let's share this experience with you guys
This street looks really beautiful. One of my favorite street to walk in uh, Chinatown. It's Bell Street basically. And of course, I'll definitely put a Google map uh, link so you can easily find where am I walking right now. He's playing very well. I'll definitely donate him something because I'm so impressed. Thank you. You're playing really well. Love it.
Thank you, thank you so much. It's really nice. I am so thrilled. His tune is like really touched my heart. So now I'm heading towards uh, Little Italy, especially Mulberry Street, to see how things are going on there because this place is also known for lots of Italian business and lots of Italian restaurants. Nice place as well. Yeah, that's close to Chinatown. That is Chinatown basically, but inside the Chinatown, this is a small place that's uh, called Little Italy. So this is the Canal Street and Mott Street basically that has all the good vibes. And I'm heading towards the Mulberry Street to explore Little Italy. But I think I'll buy some lychee. Let me ask them how much the price. Hi, excuse me. So how much does it cost? This one? 25? Okay, that's not bad. Okay, I'm coming back. I don't have that much cash. I had to withdraw some cash and then I had to come back and buy that. Because the lychee really looks fresh. I'll definitely buy it. I found the bank so I'll see you guys after I buy the fruits because I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable okay I'll see you guys soon so I just got my lychee I just withdraw some money from that ATM and buy some fresh lychee because I love lychees I'm so biased with lychees because that's one of my favorite fruits now we are heading towards little italy as you can see the right here it's written welcome to little italy so we are now heading towards that way this is another reason i love chinatown because you will find some fresh fruits vegetables meat everything it's very fresh And not that expensive either. I think it's time to cross the street. Yes, let's go. And dive into little Italy. And see how things are going on there. These gift shops are pretty big. Hello. Wow. They have a lot of stuff. Look at that. As I said, lots of outdoor dining, lots of restaurant here. 
in this particular row Mulberry Street and as you can see it already and mostly owned by Italian owners that's the reason it's called Italian Little Italy or Italian place in New York Wow, this place, it's really nice. I love it. Look how they decorate. Very nice, very nice. Another restaurant. And they had a nice bar as well. Restaurante Italiano. And this building even looks like an Italian flag. Nice, nice place. And by the way, today is a Friday evening, so that's the reason it's all packed up. And it would be much more crowded later this evening, for sure. La Nona, I hope I pronounce it correctly. Another gift shop. It's a pretty big gift shop. Look at that. It's a perfect time to visit uh, Little Italy. Wow. Look at that. Homemade gelato is right here. It's look delicious. This is how we can say that New York City is back in life.
I seen much more crowded across the street. Another gelato shop right here, selling some fresh gelato, I believe. Oh yeah, this place is much more lively than anywhere else. Look at that. Look at the liveliness of Mulberry Street today. I don't know that you can see it or not. There is an emperor building. This looks pretty nice. This is how Friday evening should look like. People are getting out with families and experiencing the beauty of New York City. So if you are planning to visit New York City and thinking where should you eat or which place is really good for restaurants and hangout then definitely check it out the Mulberry Street I'll definitely put a link in my video description box because this place really had lots of great restaurants hangout spot so definitely give a shot to visit this particular place but there are tons of places and uh, things you can do in New York City but definitely check that out as well at this bike park right here pretty cool hmm? okay it's time to cross the street
and we are not far from Soho another great place if you love to do shopping in New York City you'll find all of these fancy brands shop uh, then art galleries in Soho I had an in-depth video that I did few weeks uh, ago you can check that out as well uh, it's nice place it's nice place it's very lively and the upside pizza this place is also busy I haven't tried their pizza but I should yeah it's a camera and it's even record 4k 4k yeah what does that mean means it's very high definition really yep is that from GoPro or? no it's from DJI yeah. those who make the drone DJI. DJI. It's this. a Chinese brand basically. But very fancy. People even don't notice that you are recording. That's the best part. It's yeah, that's the best part. And, and it has a gimbal so it stabilizes yeah. my footage. So it doesn't matter how much I shake my hand, the footage is very stable. Wow. And, and it records sound and all that too? Yeah, everything. I mean, how everything. much does that cost? Uh, this is cost around $500. Yeah, this is the second generation basically. That's why it costs like that. But you can yeah. get the cheaper one in. Uh, the first one. This is, a, this is Pocket 2. They have Pocket 1. Okay. So that's much cheaper than Pocket cheaper. 2. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. It's very nice. And, yeah. um, how many hours does it record? Oh, that's the issue because you can continuously record until one hour, one hour, or maybe a little bit more than one hour. But you can adjust a power bank so you can continuously recording as much as you want. But definitely you have to have a very, very high quality of memory card and yeah. otherwise it will not it will take a lot of space with 4k video yeah with 4k yeah. video yeah 60p probably yeah 60p yeah. probably yeah because nowadays of 4k no one wants to watch 1080p video yeah it's so, all yeah. 4K. yeah technology is amazing right? yeah technology is getting improved day by day wow. all right have a wonderful yeah, day thank you uh sifat yeah basically i run a youtube channel called the nyc walking show so i walk around new york city and show people those who can't visit New York City in person. Yeah. 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 You can search me on the NYC Walking Show and you will find me. Okay. Yeah. Alright, man. NYC Walking Show. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I do. Same name. NYC Walking Show, you'll find me. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you'll find me like that. Yeah, I do live stream as well. Yeah. Alright, man. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. You too. This place is really nice and it was so pleasure to meet these two gentlemen. They are very friendly. I like how they decorate the wall. Look at that. It seems like some sort of blueprint or a blackboard we used to see in college or school. I like how they decorate their place with flowers and lemons. Look at that. It's pretty colorful. With all these rows and other varieties of flowers and lemons. Looks pretty nice. Hello. 
so you are just waving at my camera but I didn't follow so I giving back to hello later So here we are at Prince Street and Mulberry Street. I think I'll head toward Soho a bit to see how things are going on there because it seems like it would be lively today for sure, for sure. And here is a bookshop, pretty well known. And they even had free book. You can take it, take it from here. Or you can drop up some book as well if you don't need that. So people who need, they can take it. This place is also packed. Lively, lively. Oh wow, look at this dog, how cute! Did you guys hear the honking? <laughs> so as we're getting inside the Soho, it would be packed crowded with a car and you will hear lots of honking i do apologize in advance soho park small place but looks nice this is the only place i believe in new york city you will hear so many honking from cars other than that, nowhere, nowhere else you will hear this much of honk. And again, Cobblestone Street. And this gyro stand right here, their food is amazing, amazing. I mean it, I try his food, it's so reasonable and so amazing, so good. Highly, highly recommend. This is a line for museum of ice cream as usual. I'll not walk so much into Soho today. I already had a tour of Soho. You can check that out as well. But I'm just showing you a quick peek of Soho so you can understand how lively this place become day by day. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please give a like to this video and consider subscribe to my channel for regular updates and video from my channel, the NYC Walking Show.
and in my video description box you will find my paypal and patreon link if you want to support nyc walking show financially so that i can keep continue making videos you can do so and paypal is the best way to donate but you can be my patreon or youtube membership whatever way if you want you can do that i'll really really appreciate it Anyway, I think that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, and learn something new and see something new in New York City. And I'll see you guys somewhere else from New York City. Till then, stay safe and spread some positivity to the world because it's for free. It will not cost you anything, but it will give someone else the happiness they need. That's all I could uh, ask for you guys. Just spread some positivity. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you guys.